Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Nigel Chloe, and today is Juneteenth. And for those of you who don't know what Juneteenth is, Juneteenth is basically what we call Black People Independence Day. Um, but all jokes aside, Juneteenth, um, so everyone knows our brother Abraham Lincoln freed us with the Emancipation Proclamation in January. But here in the South, especially in Texas, we had what we called CPF, color people freedom. And that means we did not even know we were free until June 19th. So from January to June, our fellow owners were borrowing us on credit, you know, and, um, so, with it being Juneteenth, I wanted to do something very special to my heart. I've been blessed in my life to know some awesome, awesome women from doctors to lawyers to nurses to social workers to educators, even female architects and engineers. And so, um, today I wanted to just focus on our black women, our colored women, our beautiful women, most especially our CEOs, our Chief Executive Office Mas, not officers, Office Mas, because these women are game changers in their field. They decided to step outside the nine to five box and chase that schmutter. Okay? <laughs> That's my Cardi B impression. <laughs> hey, Cardi, just in case you watch it. But yes, um, so like I was saying, this... So they're going to be discussing, um, of course, the, what their field is, uh, issues affecting black women in their field. How it is, how is it being a black woman in society today? Does it affect them? And then they're going to end with a little positivity, positivity. One of their motivational quotes is, I want this video to impact whoever's watching, um, despite of your, you know, despite of your color, as long as you're a woman, just know that the world is your canvas and you are the brush so design it however you want <laughs> that was actually good that's a good one Kasa's girl. <laughs> but yes let's get started thank you to all the women who participated if you're new to my channel welcome please make sure you like and subscribe and follow me on instagram at nigel underscore chloe um but if you're og welcome back and thank you so much for your support happy juneteenth my beautiful queens my african queens my african-american queens my women of color black businesses matter black women matter black lives matter and you matter enjoy Good evening, my name is Erin e. Minix. I am CEO of Red Rouge, and we cater to women that are trying to restore their confidence and get their sexy back by offering some of the most affordable, yet sexy and comfortable lingerie, sleepwear, daytime fashion, nighttime fashion, newly incorporated candles and massage oils. Being a female in this world today affects business because I feel that women have to work twice as hard to prove ourselves. I feel like for a lot of us women, um, I just feel like, you know, with men, they feel that we have to stay at home, stay catering to the children, catering to the house, which we still do that. We wear so many different hats. However, I feel that um, we've affected business tremendously because there has been such a boost in female entrepreneurship, which is a great thing. We are definitely here to stay and we are taking over the game. Okay. I feel like being a woman of color affects business in a positive way because for me, I have come into such a supportive business community that the foundation of it is women of color, you know, African-American women, African women, Latino women, Asian-American women, um, just women of all kind of different backgrounds and different beautiful shades of brown. And luckily, I've been embraced and I've been able to embrace other women such as myself 
who have taken out the competition and made it collaboration over competition, which I think is a very beautiful thing. So we try to look at everything in positive aspects over here at Red Rouge. And I would love to leave you with a quote from a fellow beautiful Texan who is unfortunately no longer here with us. This quote is from one of the women that I have admired from a little girl. Like anybody that knows me knows that this woman is always been very important in my life and she has just been everything to me and has just been an inspiration from day one who is Selena Quintanilla Perez and she said the goal isn't to live forever but to create something that will so and foremost like to say thank you for this opportunity and I am so grateful to be a part of this thank you so much Bye. Hi, my name is BJ Shuname Apoveta. I am the owner operator of a home based baking business. Um, we're based here in Houston, Texas, and we have been in business for nine amazing years. Yay! Um, being a woman has its great advantages being a, a business owner. Um, a study has shown that more women. Are becoming entrepreneurs and owning their own on businesses um, of course this could be um, due to different issues that we face being in a corporate America or, or or different things you know at some point in life um, putting in so much hard work into a, a, a business or a company and not being promoted or not being given your your dues um, could lead you to want to open your own business and work for yourself um, and of course being fabulous women uh, we're intuitive we are adaptive uh, we are driven um, our social networking skills are you know push off push us further um, in, in the business industry in order for us to to grow to younger people wanted to um, um, become business owners I would say it's absolutely okay to fail. You have to keep trying and trying and it's okay to fail. You would not know how great you are. Um, you would not learn without failure. Um, and I, I believe you, you, you grow better when, when you do have instances where you, you fail at something and um, the celebration just tends to be better after you failed and failed and you try something again and and you keep on trying and you don't you just don't let up and you finally get it the celebration is just more awesome so young people out there if you want to do it go for it keep at it and just never give up never give up because you'll get there my name is Sylvia, and um, the name of my business is Integrated Home Healthcare Incorporated, and we have been in business since 1993. Um, what we do is um, we send out caregivers to the homes of those that are disabled, elderly, and um, those that are unable to care for themselves, meeting their um, daily functionings. So um, we have clients all over the Houston, greater Houston area, and um, so when we talk about what, you know, how does being a woman um, affect business, I would say that um, it's not a, um, being that I work for myself, I don't have anything to compare it to, meaning that um, I've never worked in corporate America or been in those environments where you are forced to you know, pay attention to um, gender equal gender quality and uh, equality. I never had to deal with that in the beginning. I will say that, of course, I had to get work hard to get to where I am. But um, the field that I'm in is dominated by women, uh, African American women. So, and there's not really a space for, in my opinion, there's not really a space where there's a constant need for competition or I need to get ahead of her or I need to get ahead of this person 
my field does not have that. It's kind of all independent contractors. We do our own thing. We have our own clients, some types of business that you do have to compete every day, you know, to get where you are. But again, in for me, I stay in my lane and I do my own thing. Um, so one thing that I would like to tell young entrepreneurs that are out there is that finish school early, like get it done before 30. If you can't, meaning if you're going to go after your master's, you're going to go after your doctorate, do all of it at least before you are in your late 30s done and out of the way so that you're not spending all your 30s instead of living life you're worried about school and you know all the rest and my favorite quote is if you love the life you live you will live a life of love this is one of my favorite quotes a friend of mine told it to me a long long time ago and i just appreciate it because it teaches us to really love life like love everything about life and the more we do that the more we sow love and sow peace and sow um, unity the more life will feel fulfilling for us or be fulfilling for us um, and I just say that body did not um, are not blessed the same everybody's hand can't go in the same direction so I just say just love life and just do you and always 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 put God first hello everyone my name is Susan Wokedi. My businesses that I run is, I have a couple of them, actually three. I'm an educator uh, because I'm an educator at heart. I started teaching uh, back in 2005 and I've been an educator since then. I have uh, progressed to all the levels that I possibly could progress and continue to learn and grow in that field. The other, you probably know me as, is I'm a filmmaker. I'm a writer, director, actor producer yes i wear all the hats <laughs> so i love all of the things that i do i'm very passionate why do i do this what, what is my drive i do this because i know that through these endeavors i will be able to affect others help others bless others encourage others and so i have been in the film business for more than i've been for longer than i've been uh, in education business but i love them both my dream is to be able to fuse both of my passion together and i believe that by doing my education business and my entertainment business i'm able to do that so you can kind of say that i'm on the road to living my dream what is it like to be a woman in this field well a woman in education platform in any kind of field you know is always a little bit more challenging if you're a woman and not because uh, we don't have the opportunity, but because we may have to work a little harder, especially if you're a woman that has a family. I'm married and I have kids. And so you have that priority. For me, my priorities are God first, family second, and everything else last. So since I have that kind of priority, uh, you know, sometimes it can be challenging because I want to make sure that my goals, especially since I'm a very ambitious woman with education in my background uh, sometimes I can appear a bit demanding or some people might think I'm um, intimidating although I don't purpose to do that it's just that I'm confident and that confident doesn't come from me it comes from God and it comes from me knowing that I am great because he is great it's my advice to young women and, and uh, upcoming youth who want to pursue their own business i say go for it darlings go for it your competition is with no one but yourself you want to be greater than the last version of yourself so go for it never let anyone tell you that you can't do it as a matter of fact can't is not part of your vocabulary especially when it has to do with your success what is my best quote my best quote is actually an original quote by myself. Many of you probably see that hashtag on my several posts when I put uh, stories out there. And it's TBA. The quote is TBA. And those letters stand for think it, believe it, and achieve it. Because everything that we do first begins with our mindset, our thought process. Then we begin to believe it. And once we believe it, we can achieve it. I hope that my conversation with you today can empower you, encourage you to take that bold next step.
Hi, my name is Nicola Ajayi, and I, along with my two business partners, Amani Anawaje and Shioma Ajayi, are the owners of Bundle Queens, a wig and hair extensions company in Houston, Texas. I'd like to speak specifically about what it means to be a female in business today in the business world. I would say as females, we're in a unique place to make a change in the world of business and commerce, one unlike we have been in the past. We are being looked at more for the creative and the innovative skills that we possess. We are thinkers, we are leaders, and I believe that the world is beginning to see that. I believe now is the best time as a female to venture out and do what's on your heart to do. In the past, we haven't always been looked at as professionals or or we've always kind of been shut out of places where others have been included. This is a time now, especially in the climate of change that we're seeing in race, that we need to take advantage of this platform that we have and create businesses that will help us as black people in general succeed. Businesses for ourselves, businesses that will help grow our community because there's nothing like putting money into your community and putting money into things that help your specific people grow. Not saying that any business that you do should exclude one particular person or the other, but I think as a person and a woman of color, you should think of ways that value, ways to do business that will help add value to your community. One thing I would say though, is you have to have the mindset for success. Nobody really is just, you know, comes into this world knowing exactly how to be a successful person. But we can get that way from learning from others who have been there in the past. Read books, study. If you don't know how to market, read books on marketing. If you don't know how to sell, read books on how to sell. If you don't know how to be a professional, read books and learn from others. Go to courses, invest in yourself, invest in your education is one thing I would really stress to anyone who wants to go into business because it's all about having that success mindset. I'd like to end with a quote from Albert Einstein, who is somebody who, of course, as we know, was an innovative thinker and successful business person. And it's one of my favorite quotes. And it says, don't strive to be a man or woman of success, but strive to be a man or woman of value. Anytime you can add value to someone's life through what you're doing, you know you're on the right path and you know you're in the right business. Any business where it's just about self or you're just gaining things for yourself, that probably is not, that business probably won't go far. But when you have committed to doing something where you're adding value to someone's life, where you're adding greatness into their life, that is the type of business that you know is going to prosper and that you, that you know is going to go far. I hope that the words that I have said have impacted you in some way, and I'm grateful for this opportunity.